Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's No Bull Beer Views. Today I have another beer from Grist House Brewing Company out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, this beer is for their fifth anniversary. It's called Celebration Sippa Sour IPA. Um, it is 7% ABV. It is a sour, or carrot cake inspired sour India pale ale conditioned on vanilla, milk sugar, carrots, and spices. So, admittedly, that sounds awful. Um, I don't think I would have <laughs> bought this myself, but a buddy grabbed me a can of it. Um, he said it was kind of weird, but he liked it, so I'm going to give it a try. It does sound weird, but... I've uh, had things that sounded weirder that worked, so we'll see. Crack it open and see what we got. Alright, so as you can see, it pours a uh, somewhat cloudy... Um, like rusty orange color with slightly less than a finger's worth of white head. <sighs> that's weird. I'm trying to think of what that smells like. There's something specific on my the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of it. Um, it is a little metallic. Uh, it's a little um, melony. And a little green apple, too, which is weird, because I wouldn't expect, like, a beer like this to have a seed of aldehyde, but... Yeah, it's like green apple, melon... I'm not getting any of the spices, and I'm really not getting any hops, either, and it's a little metallic. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know how I'm going to like this. Oh. That's not, that's not terrible. Um, it's so weird. Like, it has such, I mean, the spice flavor is not over the top where it's like, I, I don't like it. But it, it's big enough that I cannot believe that I wasn't picking any of that up in the aroma. And now that I go back to it, I'm still not getting it. That's so weird. Um. There's a lot of different layers to that. Uh, first of all, I will say one thing. I don't understand why, why they're doing... like It's one thing if it's fruit, but something like this. You can make a carrot cake beer, but why would you do it with a sour IPA? Like That's just not the base for that. Do it with like a, um, a stout or, you know, even like a... a a bitter or a nut brown or something malty like it, it makes way more sense to do that than this uh, but I guess they wanted to be outside of the box first off I don't this should not be called an IPA even a sour IPA there's no hop character to it at all um, it doesn't mean it's a bad beer but it's it's kind of misleading by the name now I would call this just like a, a carrot cake kettle sour and if it was Brandon is that a I'd, I'd be okay with that. Um, it's so weird. Like the, I guess, I guess there is a little bit of hop character. I, I will say that. Now that I'm rethinking it, there's no hop bitterness, but there is some sort of like um, slightly perfumey, citrusy floral character that I'm guessing is probably from the hops. You get that blended with the acidity from the lactic acid, I'm assuming, the kettle sour acidity up front. And then it's 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 like you're taking two little shots of beer. Like you get that 
and that ends like that. And then... It fall, falls right into that carrot cake thing. And I'm getting like... To, I do get something that's like... Vegetal, but not in like a gross way. But to me it's coming off more as like pumpkin than carrots. But I am getting a little bit of that like pumpkin or sweet potato vegetal character. And then I get like a vanilla and a, like a almost like a a brown pie crust taste. It's really weird. Like this is one of the weirdest beers I've had in a long time and somehow they made it work. It's very odd. I just don't know how they have like that flavor up front, which I actually think is good in and of itself. And then it just finishes with this. Oh, it says spices. Okay, that makes sense. Because I thought I was getting like cinnamon too, but I didn't remember seeing it on there. But I'm assuming that's one of the spices or cinnamon nutmeg, something in that realm. Um, yeah, it's so weird. Like you get that sour IPA up front. And usually why I don't like these flavored sour IPAs is because the, the flavors just don't work well with the the sour IPA and it's like all these different things competing on your tongue but with this it's like they're completely separated you taste the sour IPA and then the acidity kind of washes away and then the aftertaste is just like carrot cake I mean it's spices crust and a little bit of like a veg vegetal earthy carrot flavor This is honestly, like, I don't want to say it's one of my favorite beers, because it's not. But it is crazy with this. It's crazy. Um, I never would have thought that this would have been this good. Um, I Would I want to drink this all the time? No. I don't even know how often I would ever want to drink this. But it's so well done, and it's such a novelty that I could... There would be reasons I would buy this again... Just because I'd want to revisit it and remember how weird and goofy it is. And also to show other people, like, hey, try this. This is actually a pretty amazing feat of how they were able to meld all these flavors together. Uh, I, I give props to Grist House for this. This is such a unique beer, and it is actually good. Um... I'm really glad now that my buddy got me one of this. He said, he said, it's weird, but it's good. He's like, it's weird, but I think it's good. And I'm like, okay. And I completely agree. It is very, very weird, but I, I like it. Um, and I, I'm glad I got this. So, yeah, this is a buy for me. I would buy this again. It's, it's pretty unique. I don't know in what setting. I might want this more for like a Thanksgiving type beer. Um, cause it, cause the spices and the vanilla and that earthy character almost reminds me of pumpkin, but it's not pumpkin. Uh, yeah, I give him credit for this, and who the hell would have thought, you know, doing a fifth anniversary carrot cake I sour IPA in the middle of, like, I think May. It's so weird, but it worked, so. Good job, Grist House. Um, I think that's all I got in this one. Please like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, and I look forward to you in the next one. Thanks.